Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so if you're seeing this blue screen of death, you'll see it every time you turn on your machine. You won't even be able to boot to the desktop. So what you need to do is if you put the Windows 10 install media into your machine, so it might be a USB or DVD, if you don't have it, uh, head on to a machine that you can boot to the desktop uh, just go to um, Google and look for Windows 10 ISO and if you visit this link here and if you just scroll down uh, download tool now if you download that you'll be able to create a bootable Windows 10 install DVD or USB drive so Put that into your machine and then reboot and boot to it okay so when you restart your machine here press any key so make sure you press any key it's now going to boot to the windows 10 media okay at the first uh, screen here select your language and currency format click next uh, do not click on the button here install now down the bottom left here click on repair your computer now if you click on troubleshoot advanced options and then click on startup repair so if you click on that uh, follow the prompts for the uh, application and then reboot your machine what that's going to do is yeah as you can guess it's going to go through all of the startup windows 10 files um, it's going to see if there's any issues if there are it's going to fix them uh, it's going to scan for corrupt files and it will replace them as well so as I said just run that and then uh, restart your machine it should fix 99% of the issues if you're still having an issue after that come back to this menu again and you can do reset this PC um, but be careful here because it will keep your files um, but if you installed any applications like Microsoft Office, maybe Adobe Reader, uh, those will all be deleted. Um, so yeah, just be careful if you need to do that. That's sort of a last resort. Uh, but as I said, using that startup repair fixes 99% of the issues. Okay, if you have any questions on this uh, process, please post them in a the comment below and I'll help you out. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.